Okay, boys, we are 100 points away from Challenger in Elite PvP with one almost 150 CC. So let's dive right in. This is the same team. Oh, I forgot the intro. Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Critic Alex. I'm really excited to get to Challenger. I want to get those extra PvP coins weekly. Uh, I think if I can stay in Challenger with PV PvP coin food, I'll be really happy, even if I maintain like a 50% win rate, as long as I can keep doing that. Um, but I think you always get demoted, right, from Challenger back down to Champion 1. So I'll have to make that 100-point climb plus the promotionals or the promos. But they're really fun. So let's go. We got a Kingdom team here first up. Okay. Good first challenge. I was struggling towards the end of yesterday's video. Okay. We can double buff here. So I think that's what we're going to do. Wait a minute. That's incorrect. We don't want to do that. We want to buff ourselves and then buff everyone. No, that's not what we want to do. We want to double buff Arthur. Yes. Okay. And then we want to buff everyone. Okay. I think this is the right play. Everything goes to level 2. Everything goes to level 3. Yeah, because otherwise we would have had a level 2. Yeah. I. You know, I'm still, I'm still very new to using Gother, so... I get confused and I, I mix up the difference between the the types of ways in which you like the game's really complicated it's a really complicated game um and there's lots of layers to the strategy so the the ways in which you use the invasion arrow invasion arrow when you have another gother which is pretty much the only time i've been playing gother outside of pvp which of course is deathmatch um that versus this it's completely different so okay there we go he's trying to build up the alt here he wants to remove our buffs so what we want to do is kill him, right? So let's try to kill him. I think we can. Oh yeah, he's gone. Beautiful. Oh, and now if we hit King, we didn't target King, but if we hit King, no. I was going to say, if we hit King, we just say, hey, there we go, baby. On to the next one. On to the next one. I know some of you guys get trolled really hard by King Broom teams, so I think you guys felt a little bit of vindication when we got that guy to um forfeit we're gonna do the same thing again wow i think this is a really good strategy it's so demoralizing to see this on turn one to see a level three buff now his team doesn't rely on debuffs the only real debuff they have is gother's attack seal hauser's a huge threat here so we do have to pay attention. We still didn't get a Liz Hog to level 75. Okay, I think we did farm a little bit of uh, Solgris Dungeons for the daily quest. So I think I should be able to do that. So he does it himself. He does the level 2, but we're immune because of the debuff. Okay, it seems like a bit of a bot move, what he just did. It's a bit strange. He's, it seems like he's rushing Arthur's alt. So let me check between Arthur and Gother, who has less HP. Wow, his Hauser is really low HP. I think I want to kill Hauser. Oh, I just want to get the guaranteed kill. Oh, you know what? We can level her up. Oh, this is mad savage. Okay, let's do that. I wonder how much damage this is going to do with four buffs. Wow, one shot. 100k. Wow, 100k. And we've got the alt up. Oh, man, this is toxic. Oh, no. Escanor is going to be so annoying when he comes. <laughs> when Escanor comes. <laughs> you can read into that how you want. Okay, so he buffs everybody. Nice. Hmm. Okay. I really appreciate, by the way, the support on yesterday's video that I posted. Basically doing uh, 30 minutes of uh, PvP. Uh, a lot of people watch that. So I, I want to thank you guys for the support there. So we're going to pop this. I want to get her alt. So I really just want to do this. Right? And then we're just going to get two alts in. I think that's the way to go. I've been I've been trying to learn from my mistakes from yesterday. Uh, and, and all the comments you guys left me. A lot of people left me really supportive, really constructive comments. You know, do this, do that, don't do this, try this. You know, that situation. Moving cards. I know that moving cards gives you two pips, right? Because it's one for moving the character's card and it's one for... Well, if you combine it. Assuming you combine it. Um, but, uh, we are seeing the fruits of my labor, or the labor there. So we're gonna do this, then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. We can get a little combine there. I don't think, I think this is over. 
but uh, we want to we want to play it as if you know you want to play every match. You want to respect your opponent, play every match, and this is you know my my past, my past. I'm not that old, but anyways, when I was younger, I played a lot of basketball. You always treat your opponent with respect. You always play as hard as you can. You want to assume that your opponent always has a chance to win. I know they don't have a chance. You know, I know basically they don't have a chance to win here unless I disconnect or I fall asleep uh, or someone attacks me. But you know, you gotta you gotta be a sportsman. Okay, so let's you know let's finish him. He's doing he's doing his best to finish me. So we're gonna do our best to finish him. Uh, I think we're just gonna level her up and then just bada bing bada boom. We have the type disadvantage, but I think this is good. Yeah, awesome. Sorry, Merlin. Those promos are looking closer and closer. Okay, let's see who we got here. Another all red team. Seton, you really inspired the folks at home to uh, to do this kind of comp here. So we're gonna do this. No, wait, why would we do that? We're gonna do this. 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 Haha. -ha. I'm learning. I am learning, mama. So we get the Arthur alt and we get the debuff immunity on turn one. So dirty. I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, but I want to mention it now. Um, does the game look different? Does it look better? Does it look worse than my previous YouTube videos? Because I did. I am trying out a uh, full screen mode on Bluestacks. Uh, rather than having the window uh, capture on OBS being stretched out, I reduced it to its, you know, uh, default uh, amount, and I upgraded the, um, I upgraded the, um, you know what, maybe we can get two kills here. I think he's dead. I want to make sure, though. Okay, let's just do this. We're gonna get an all next turn. I upgraded the uh, the size of, of blue stacks rather than messing with OBS. Okay, sometimes I don't trust my own alts to do enough damage. And now, if you swap to Hauser, yeah, when you don't target, this is the this is the risk you take. You 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 t you take the risk of spread. Now Merlin could stop me from alting, which is dangerous because if he gets his alt off, he's gonna ruin my plans. It's always a way for your opponent to come back. I sometimes get uh, gas trapped in my mouth when I'm recording. Pretty gross. But I, I think you guys needed to know that. Um, so who has more HP left? 42? 47. Okay, well, I know math. So you, and then you, and then you. That should be enough to kill both. Hopefully. But yeah, it's just a product of talking a lot uh, and not breathing in enough. Oh, easy, easy. We didn't even need Arthur. Icing on the cake. Wow, savage damage. These are these are these are these are some pretty uh, these are some pretty bully matches. Somebody said that it's not as much fun to watch the videos when I'm like 10 to KCC over my opponent. You know, there's always the underdog mentality, right? So it might not seem fun uh, if you know I'm going to win or you think I'm going to win, but imagine the person over there that has a chance to win, right? You've probably won some matches where you were the underdog, down 5, 10, K, C, C. So they always have a chance. Next up, we've got another Arthur Hauser team. Oh, man. This is like deja freaking vu. Okay, so we can't get the level 3 buff on turn 1. So what we are going to do is buff her. Hmm. And then we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. This is not rushing the alt. So we actually won't get Arthur's alt until next turn. But on the flip side, we put up 80,000 damage right away. And with three more buffs, you know what? We could get a level three. Level three is excessive. I think with a level two and three buffs, I think I can kill almost anyone on her team. Now, we didn't aim for Hauser because of his lifesteal. So it's either Arthur or Gother. Um, that's why you also don't want to kill... So why would you buff Gother? Are you going for the attack seal? Go for the attack seal, please. Because then I can cleanse, which is nice. But um, so I think what we want to do here is... So he's dead. And then we kill him. And then we can just nuke him next turn with the alt. 
That's a really good strategy. Wow. I didn't think it would... I mean, it worked because I got two more of her cards. Don't get me wrong. It wouldn't have... Okay. She's put out... She's put out, like, over 200k damage in three attacks. Or four attacks? Man, that's so savage. Wow. So much damage. Crazy. Uh, so we're going to play it safe and nuke... Oh, we can't. Oh, we get the combine, though. Do we get Arthur's ult next turn? I think that's what that means. Yup. Yup. You inadvertently... You've activated my trap card, Yugi. So you know what? We are going to um, do this instead. Because then we're going to get her ult back anyways. And this just puts us in a, in a much tankier position. Even if Gother ults... At this point, with a level 2 buff and a solidify up, and, and the, the level 2 buff is being refreshed, right? So, you know, I, I doubt there's any way you can scale this mountain, Mr. Gother. Oh, he does get his ult. Okay, I miscalculated. Okay. Okay, so it's obviously a bot. Bots don't prioritize the ult for some reason. I think, hey, 7 Deadly Sins, Netmarble, you guys gotta fix that. Um, the bots should really prioritize their alt, especially in a situation like this when Gother's alt removes Eliz's alt. You know? 242. Did that guy even have defense gear? We'll never know. We are flying through these matches. Okay, finally we get a different team here. We have a very low CC Kingbrim team. There's nothing I can do about the low CC, guys. It's just the way that it is. But I think, again, we want to go for the double Eliz. 72? And what about Gother? 106. Okay, we definitely want to kill Helbrum then. I think he's dead right here with just this. This, I think, throws people off a little bit. Because you you get so used to seeing... Boom. Yeah, that would have... With 110 HP. You know what? We almost could have killed Gother. I think this throws people off a little bit, though. Because they really expect to see Invasion Arrow right off the top. Especially when there isn't a Galland uh, anywhere. But uh, this is nice because we can Invasion Arrow Arthur now. We can level 2 buff, and then... Okay, he seems like he's... Mm, and then he's gonna Invasion Arrow again, no? Attack Disable, yeah, okay. Okay, so now we're not going to... Okay, we're not going to... Uh... We're not gonna do Arthur, never mind. Who's Arthur, guys? We want to do this to take everything away, and then we want to do that for level 2. Okay, so now with 5 buffs, because she's going to get 2 from the Solidify, right? We got 150% more damage. <laughs> imagine the toxicity. Imagine the toxicity of one-shotting that Gother. Guys, imagine the toxicity. Imagine yourselves imagining. <laughs> no, please hate Merlin. I always forget about Merlin. Okay. I think oh, Gother's still dead, but we're going to have to deal with King's... Oh, no. He healed Gother. Okay. That's a bit of a problem. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Uh, level 2 Arthur. Yeah. Okay. We're going to eat an alt here. Oh, lots of damage. Well, we got two alts up, so I don't know if he can alt and... Oh, he moves a card? Oh, okay. He moves a card. Oh, no. What are you doing, Rapsy? He had 118,000 CC. He didn't alt? Yo. Why am I facing bots in champ one? Petrified, really? Why am I facing bots in champ one? We have to kill Gother. Not even a question. I'm not losing my alt. Not even a question. He's got to be dead from that. And then... Oh, no, you know what? This is much better. Okay. So we'll get uh, Gother's alt next turn. Unless his king somehow kills my Gother. Which I highly doubt. We get the we get the Purify Seal. Oh, he's got a level 2 Purify. These were, so he's got a level 2 Purify... He might have a level 2 uh, Petrification as well, if that's not Merlin's card. Oh, it is. Did he, did he double Merlin? No, he Merlin and ulted. So here comes the alt. Imagine a level 6 King alt on this guy with 118 CC. No. That'd be funny, though. I cry. It hurts so much. The level, the level like a beefed up King alt. 
is so painful. Uh, yeah, the invasion arrows are kind of sexy, but I think we just want to build up her alt here. So I think this is fine. I don't know if we're going to kill anybody. Maybe, but I think we'll kill King, actually. Yeah. Okay. Now, the attack seal doesn't really do much against Merlin. It doesn't actually... Oh, really? It disables her level 1, even though it has... Oh, that's not a debuff. Ah, so that's the disadvantage. It's still considered an attack. Okay. Her her alt uh, removal. Her alt gauge removal. Uh, let's just overkill this. Just to make sure. Nice. Nice. We are flying to Challenger. Drop the mama. Love the alts in this game. Love them. Well, I love them more when I'm not on the receiving end of them as well. That helps. Have you guys heard that Escanor is coming? Ooh, okay, this is close. 3,000 3, CC differential. Now we have to be careful here. He could be running evasion food. I have not been considering evasion food at all. He's got really low HP on his go through though. So I think we go for, oh, 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 we've got it, we've got it. Yes, yes, the level three buff. Goodbye, Bonds Extort. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Now, one thing I do want to say. I'm being a tryhard. I'm using the alt food. I'm using a you know super toxic team to get to challenger so I can get more PvP coins, so that I can get more anvils, and so that I can get more uh, you know UR weapons. But I actually do want to bring Bond back into my PvP team. I haven't used uh, I haven't used him in my PvP team, PvP team in a while, and I actually really want to. Um, so let me know if you have a really spicy comp uh, for him, especially if you have one that's kind of unusual, like if it's like Gother, you know, Gother Arthur, Bon, or something like that. I, yeah, I, sure, I can understand why that's powerful, or something like that. But uh, if you have something a little bit more unique, like I'm thinking maybe like Red Slater, Bon, and something else. I really like coming up with unique teams. I'm clapping this guy's cheeks hard. Remember, guys, he's 3,000 CC below me. It's not a 5,000 or a 10,000 gap. I don't know what food he ate. Maybe he's eating coin food. He's following He's following Lord Sekapoko. But, um, I'm, I mean, should I play bad? I shouldn't. I got to win, right? I got to do what my mama taught me. Hmm. We're going to get his alt. I guess we should play it safe. And then attack seal and schlep. Attack and schlep. Do 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 mama. Does anyone else imitate? <laughs> Am I the only one insane? No, seriously. Does anyone else imitate uh, the characters when they say their little catchphrases, especially? The ones that are sort of English, because obviously my Japanese is awful, but, uh, yeah. Am I the only one out there? Uh, let's do that. This should be enough to kill him. Oh, he's already at half. He's dead, I think. Yeah, if Arthur's, if Arthur's hit did that much. Okay, I think we are on to our placement matches. Bye, bye. Boy, boy. Another Kingbrum team. Okay, we are 6k. Above them. Oh, it looks like an alt food team, and you got to combine on him, which is not good for us. 105. 101. This is going to be kind of dicey, but let's let's go for this intro. I'm hopefully this is not eva ev evasion food. These, this is my this is my uh, my first placement match. Ah. <laughs> Girl, 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 if could you just crit? Could you just get get a single crit? You're like Galland. You're like Galland version 2. You do you just don't know how to crit. So he's going to play with the alt. He's going to alt gauge, deny or petrify. Okay, there's the pet there's no. There's the petrify level 3. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's do that. I think this is the best move because we're also rushing his alt. We level up everybody's skills. What did it do? Oh, and we get the kill on Halbrum. Okay, Gother. 
You good doll, you. Okay, so now I put a lot more pressure on him. Do you have another Petrify, sir? Well, you've got three level two cards. It seems like he does have another Petrify. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, oh, no, he's got the Purify. Okay, and then... Invasion Arrow to everybody. Yeah, that's dangerous. Level three card. He does have another Petrify. This is so annoying. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is how Kingdom teams work, though. I think we're going to lose, guys. This is this is looking really bad. This is looking and man, I have level two and level three cards. If I could just release them, oh man, this is painful. I could have I could have purify sealed on King, but the thing is, he's just gonna regen all of his HP. Man, if we had gotten that level three buff, right? Another invasion arrow there. He didn't alt, so he's keeping Gother's alt. Interesting. What's the strategy? Oh, okay. He didn't need the alt. Okay. Well, I won't waste his time or yours. Let's forfeit. The pressure's on now, boys. We lost our first placement match, so now we have to win both. And this guy's 40,000 CC below me. So I think it's going to be pretty straightforward to beat him. But I think I want to go after... I don't like these cards. Let's try this. I'm not a big fan of these cards. I needed I wanted a double of either Arthur or I wanted a double of Arthur's buffs or a double of uh her her attack card. Yeah, we're getting a lot of Gother cards. Man, not a this is yeah, this is not a lot of damage here. This is a bot. And he's way lower on CC, but I could still lose, right? If, if we get CC'd like we got last time, we don't have debuff immunity. If they target Liz first, I don't have any cleanse. Okay, yep, this is pretty much what happened last time. Goes after Gother first. And her, oh my god. Even though these are bots, dude, they're so toxic. This is the key. This is the Kingbrum combo. I shouldn't complain. This is This is how it goes. Um, the good thing is we get to build up an alt at least, I guess. Maybe we get a kill here. Nice. We get a kill on King. Okay. So we've slowed down the comp a little bit. Helbrum takes a huge damage reduction because his passive relies on people being alive. He also loses the stat bump, the 8% basic stat bump from, um, King because of his passive. So Helbrum's not going to hit nearly as hard anymore, but he's going to do some alt removal. It looks like, Yeah. You know? Nice. Okay. One more. Nope. Wrong target. Okay. Good. Okay. That's fine. That's level one. Oh, well, you have your alt, and that's fantastic, but I'm not going to let you get it off. So we're going to buff and slap. Get that Arthur Get that Arthur alt right back up. The buff should help uh, go through deal more damage, and then we're going to clean the slate. That's, I think that's really probably the most important thing, is rushing Gother alt and then um, removing their alt. Because maybe if I had done that in the first placement match. Also, maybe if I hadn't fought somebody who was, or, you know, I'm winning because this guy's like 30 or 40,000 CC below me. I recognize that. But, uh, okay, yeah. Attack seal. Doesn't matter. Because we have our best friend right here. And then we're going to do this and this. Go right back to the alt for Arthur. I guess we could have targeted Merlin, but I think they're all dead. Yep. Okay. So it comes down to the wire. We are one and one for placement matches. Hopefully we won't be saying bye-bye to Challenger. The drama, the suspense, it all comes down to this. Okay, here we go. Oh, a different team here. Merlin in the front. But I'm, again, I'm like 23, 26,000 uh, CC above him. Not the greatest hand to start. Who do we want to kill here? Oh my god, that that uh, Merlin has like no HP. Uh, okay, let's do this. This way we get the combine there. Not quite an alt rush, but not bad either. We get some kind of buff up. And we'll see what happens. This is going to do a ton of damage, yeah. I mean, yeah, he can he can purify, but you know what? If he wastes a turn purifying, that's actually good for me. It's another bot. Lots of bots in PvP. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe maybe when you get to top 100, there's not any bots anymore. 
who knows I don't, I don't actually know though i'm not speaking from experience we get the is that level one it's not gonna do anything okay it's fine uh now with all these buffs you should be able to kill her right if i'm not mistaken uh, i don't think i don't think this is the most efficient way of doing things we can get both of their alts so let's just do this oh and we can get a combine there that's actually pretty good okay i, I think i like this better again going for the alts attack disable nice no recovery disable because it's level one we got two attack skills so those are presumably the attack skills for um for gother but those could be I, I, those could be level one petrifies so if he combines them oh no they couldn't be because they couldn't be next to each other if they were level one so that had to be like a it could be a gother and a level one petrify but i think this is over so i think we got it in the bag not as suspenseful as we thought um uh okay he has less hp wasn't sure if i should wasn't sure if i should art arthur alt on uh king and then use uh elizabeth with the type advantage to flame flamethrower gother i think this makes more sense he's not gonna have his alt anyway so it's not a big threat okay yeah we, i don't think we could have gotten the kill what is what are you wearing gil thunder what is that guys what outfit is that he looks naked i know those are pants but it, from far away and from low res he looks naked he looks like he's just wearing a dress which is fine he can wear a dress if he wants but uh it looks hilarious okay i think we are funzo dunzo here Ooh. so a bit of an anticlimactic finish that first that first placement match was tough if we had gotten three of those we might not have made it let me know what you guys think of my climb to challenger with this super toxic comp hit me up with suggestions if you have them for a team with uh green bond basically the only units i'm missing are demon melee the only major players are demon melee and red merlin so without those guys who would you construct or how would you construct a team for me so we got to challenger hopefully you can get there soon for the juicy juicy coins and actually the gold it's like a million gold now i just want to flex really quickly by looking over at the um the rewards it's gonna congratulate me i think right oh no they don't congratulate you oh no they do yay okay cool uh yes oh what's this every week uh top 100 players sure i'm not top 100 so it doesn't matter uh but yeah we get a million gold and it and it goes over into the win rate with an 85 percent win rate dope thank you so much for watching i appreciate all the support subs and likes and comments and i will see you in the next one. Take care.